Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR NET February 2022. Today we will discuss about all those questions related to the partial differential equations with the help of the shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos related to the CSR NET examinations. What we have discussed in our last lecture, we have discussed the real analysis, inner product space, ordinary differential equation, complex analysis, linear algebra, as well as the of the some statistics questions with the help of shortcut tricks. All you can find on my channel name, Dr. Harishgar, with the playlist name is here. Now, in this lecture, we will try to solve the question related to this partial differential equation with the help of shortcut tricks again. So let's start with this video is there. So we can start with this first, first question which is related to the Cauchy problem and it's a first order differential equation. So what is that? If you look about this, what is the first thing that come into your mind is in this form. Once you are considered this equation, then we can write firstly in this form plus partial derivative with respect to y, I can write this as 1 minus u. Then you can simply write as a Lagrange equation is dx upon minus x dy upon 1 and this is dz uh, is a u form so it's a du upon this form now here we have to need to find the value of the u u is there so that means i have to consider this one equation so either you can consider this or this but i can think about that this is quite easier so how you can solve that you can integrate them once you will integrate them it will be y it will be my minus of log 1 minus u i can consider as constant is also log c so what is that? It is nothing but my e raised to power minus y, 1 minus u of c. So can you find the value of the u? It's a 1 minus u is 1 upon c e raised to power y. Now, what is given to you? u comma x comma 0 is sin x. So if you substitute here, it will be my 1 minus sin x is 1 upon c. Because y is 0, so e raised to power 0 is 1. So I can substitute the 1 by c here. So 1 minus u is 1 minus sin x over e raised to power y. So what is the answer of the u is 1 minus 1 minus sin x upon e raised to power y. So it's a negative r there. So this plus option, this plus option cancel out. Be. So what is the remaining part? You have to find the value of the u 0 comma 1. So what is the sign of 0 is 0. e raised to power 0, e raised to power 1 is 1. So the answer is 1 minus e of is the right answer. So there is a very simple task about that. There is no need to solve this equation separately. We have just tried to find the value of u. So I can integrate them and we will get the right answer. Another question is which one of the following is a non-parabolic? So we all know that if you have the differential equation of this form plus b u y y plus c of so u x y and u y y and plus and so on, then the for the parabolic we must have to satisfy b square minus 4ac. Now here you can see that the equation number b and equation number d, they are similar because there is no, because whatever they have written here, the what, whatever they written here, there is no use for checking b square minus 4ac is 0. So it means if this is a correct answer, it must also be here. So what is that? If you compare this differential equation, what is the a? A is the coefficient of the partial derivative with respect to x and x. So that will be 0. What is the coefficient of the b? What is the b is partial derivative with respect to x and y? That is nothing but my x square. What is the coefficient of the u, y, y? So there is no term of the u, y, y. So it's a 0. So what is the value of the b square minus 4ac? b square minus 4ac is my x4 which is not always 0 for all x, y. So it means this is not the parabola is the right answer. If you look about this here, then it will be, this is my B, this is my C, this is my A. So what is that? This is my 4X square Y square minus 4AB. So you can see this is a 0 for all the pairs of the X and Y. So it means this is a parabola, but we need a not parabola. If this is a parabola, this is also the parabola. If you think about here, again, this is a similar. The only difference is a negative sign, but we need a B square. So there is no difference between them. So the right answer is only for this A is my right answer. This option cancel, this option cancel. So the A is the right answer. Look about the another one is there. So again, uh, if you look about that, it is again of the form of the P of P and Q of this P here. But I will tell you the one shortcut to are there without 
solving this equation like of this ux upon what is that this is e raised to the power minus t plus dt upon 1 and du upon minus u there is no need to solve this problem what you can do is since what is the solution which what is the solution of this differential equation so clearly say that if i say u is the solution of this problem what is the meaning of that it satisfied that it satisfies this equation so look at that the first option b if you consider u is my x e raised to power t substitute the value at here what is the partial derivative with respect to t is nothing but my here what is that partial derivative with respect to this plus what is the u is my here is it zero it is my one so it can never be zero it means this is not the right answer similarly for the second op uh, c option if you substitute here what is the u of t it is nothing but my minus of e t minus what is the partial derivative with respect to x? There is a 1 plus u is my complete one. So again, you can see if you substitute u here, it will not be 0. So this option also cancel out. Look about this one. If you consider the partial derivative with respect to t, so it will be the chain, it will be the product rule. So it can be here plus and minus of this. This is my u of t minus e of minus t. What is the partial derivative with respect to x? it is nothing but my e of minus t plus u u is nothing but my e raised to power minus t x minus of this plus 1 now you can see this value this value will be cancelled out this value and this value will cancel out so the answer is 0 so this is the correct answer but here this is the part c so it can have more than one correct options so look about the first option also so what you can do is we can satisfy the first one partial derivative with respect to t so we can use the product rule this is my here plus e first rule and this is my here minus e raised to power minus of t partial derivative of this function with respect to x it will be my here plus u now u is my here so what is the answer of this so you can see this value and this value will be double this will be cancelled out it's a two times of this which is not a zero so this option also cancel out the right answer is only b is the correct answer so that is a very simple whenever you are talking about the solution of the problem you always try to satisfy this equation in here there is no need to solve by any of the lagrange multiplier or the cauchy problems look at the another one is there so which of the following is statement is true again it's a part c so it may be more than one answer we clearly say that either one of them is true so first option is which is not a linear so what is the meaning of the linear so they are uh, what are the independent variable is x and y are independent variable so u is the dependent which is multiplied by the independent variable so it, this means this is a linear equation but they are talking about the no linear it will be cancelled out how you find the second one are there and the separation methods are there so we can start with the separation method let's see i can consider this is x into y now if i substitute here what will happen this is the partial derivative twice firstly with the x dash and this plus 3y square x y is 0 now I can write this value as x square x dash upon x which is nothing but my minus 3y square over y dash is now both are constants so I can consider as say k now once you are here now if we take consider the first value it can be written like this k by x square and if you think about the second value, it's a y dash upon y is nothing but my minus 3y square into k. Now you can integrate them. It will be nothing but my log capital X. It is nothing but my minus k by x plus constant b. So I can consider k is my x is my e raised to power minus k by x. Similarly for here, it will be my k log of capital Y. It is my minus y cube. So what is the value of the y is? It's a e raised to power minus y cube by k. Therefore, what is the u is there? u is nothing but my x into y. That's over. Now, it means that is able to solve this, compute the solution. Because you are able to find the solution. Now, which one is correct? Now, you can apply this value. What is the u x comma 0? So, when x is x, when y is 0, so e raised to power 0 is my 1. It will be my e raised to power 1 by x. So what is the answer of the k? k is nothing but my minus 1. Now once k is my minus 1, you can substitute here. It will be this. 
into e raised to power it's a minus one so it's my y cube now you can substitute the value check whether what one comma one is there so what is the one comma one u of one comma one is nothing but e raised to power one e raised to power one e raised to power plus of two that is the answer is my b and d so this option is also cancel so this is the way you can solve this partial differential equation in a very simple manner that's all about this partial differential equations and its shortcut tricks we will see some more lecture in our next videos till then you can simply find the previous lectures related to this csr net examination in my playlist csr net are there you can find the probability questions calculus of variation complex analysis and many more are there sequence series all are available in this my channel up to the 2019s and so on i hope you can learn this shortcut tricks and apply in this coming examination best of luck students you can share this video like and comment this one and share it with your friends thank you